If you grew up in the 1980s, you had a front row seat to what's considered one of the best eras of sci-fi in action in film. During this time, some of the best films were released, like Predator, Aliens, and one of my personal favorites, the 1987 classic Robocop. The story of upstanding officer Alex Murphy getting massacred by a ruthless gang and brought back to life as a cyborg by the mega corporation OCP, Robocop was a success at the box office. Though not without its harsh critics, especially on the film's violence. Regardless, a new franchise was born, with sequels, TV shows, both live action and animated, and as to be expected, video games. From 8 and 16-bit consoles, handhelds, and computers, each game having about varying success. In 1999, developer Titus, who's mostly known for the digital cataclysm known as Superman 64, purchased the game rights to Robocop to develop a few games, one being for the current generation of consoles at the time. As time went on, Titus cancelled the US versions of their new Robocop game for GameCube and PS2, and focused on the Xbox version. Though, it was released for those platforms in Japan and PAL territories. And on PC in Germany only. Uh, anyway, on July of 2003, Robocop was unleashed on the big green to... not-so-wonderful reviews. Now myself, I haven't played Robocop on Xbox, except for when I tested the game out when I first got it to see if it worked. So, I'm pretty curious about this one. I don't know what to expect. But, thanks to our good friend Stefan, who uh, requested the game, because he too is curious and is a big Robocop fan like myself, we're gonna play through it and see if there's some kind of hidden directive that states that this game is actually good. I mean, look at him. Look at old Robo. I'm sure this is, uh... This is gonna suck, isn't it? The latest adventure of Neo Detroit's finest takes place during the mayoral elections, and OCP sees a major opportunity to finally make their goal of owning the city a reality, by sneaking in their own candidate as well as using a team to spin negative press on the current mayor. On top of that, said team recruits the biggest crime lord in the city, William Nex, to drum up some good old-fashioned crime and violence in Detroit. To pay for his services, the head of the spin team is in charge of a project for a new drug called Brain Drain, and gives Nex the distribution of the drug to help take over the city. With all of this going down, it's up to Murphy to once again thwart OCP's plans to take over Detroit and stop the spread of this deadly drug. Seeing as how the majority of Robocop games were just based on the films, it is nice to see an original story. Yeah, it's still Murphy versus OCP with a random criminal lord thrown in, but it's what Robo does best. I mean, he fought Skynet, he can handle OCP for the fifth or sixth time. Going with the trend at the time, Robocop 2003 is a first-person shooter where, as Murphy, you progress through nine large stages split into multiple sections, completing a primary objective with secondary objectives along the way, such as arresting criminals and rescuing hostages. Pretty cut and dry stuff here. You start off with Murphy's trademark handgun, but can pick up additional weapons like his machine gun arm, grenade launcher, rocket launcher, and more. There is also health and armor pickups scattered across the map in the form of wrenches, baby food, or whatever that stuff is Robo eats, and a Robocop icon that refills both, as well as ammo pickups. You'll know what you grabbed as Robocop has no problem telling you what it is, all the time. But more on that later. Borrowing from the films, Robo has his trademark HUD that will show you enemy, hostage, and item locations, which works into the game's lock-on feature, letting you lock on to three enemies at one time to take them out. On paper, this sounds awesome, but the execution here isn't done well. Even though you're locked on, chances are your shots won't hit, even at close range. Adding to the list of jank is that Robocop is pretty damn slow. Granted, he wasn't a marathon runner in the films, but for a first-person shooter, he needs just a tad more speed, considering he can't jump either. 
Because of the slow movement, it's easy to get instantly killed by an ambush or explosion. Oh, and the best part about all this? You can only save at the end of a mission. So if you die, you'll start at the beginning of the stage. With the salt on the wound being that stages are split into sections that have to load. Why having no checkpoints at those loading sections is beyond me, but it really hurts this game even more. Robocop's presentation is just mind-boggling. Visually, the game is pretty bad, with stages ranging from muddy and bland to... Ugh, who am I kidding? That's pretty much the game. The character models themselves, all six of them, look just as half-assed. Given that it's from the developer of Superman 64, I'm not that surprised, honestly. Though, Robo looks decent at least, and I do like the nice touch of the in-level cutscenes having a media break style news report. For music, it's... well, I don't know how to describe it other than depressing. It's just a bunch of droll techno beats that just isn't that great to listen to. As for the voice acting, good god is it terrible. And not even in a so bad it's good way either. Oh no! Robocop! <laughs> what really does it for me is Murphy's voice. Besides not sounding anything like a decent impersonation of any actor that's played Robocop, he says things that Robocop would never say, ever. One move and your history. Energy. Energy. Ammunition. Citizens like you make my job worthwhile. Uh-oh. It goes without saying that Robocop is garbage, and I can't recommend it to anyone. But it does hurt to say because there's a great idea here, and there's specs of that idea in this game. Titus really needed to give Robocop more time, but I'm guessing they had a deadline to meet and just rushed it out the door, resulting in the mess we have here. My advice, don't buy this game, even for a dollar. After the blunder that was Robocop 2003, there were two games based on Murphy's adventures that came out on mobile one based on the 87 film and the other on the 2014 reboot. But after that, it's been silence. But with the news that a new Robocop's coming out that is a continuation of the original film, who knows, we might actually get a new Robocop game, whether it be a shooter or a third person action adventure, who knows, but it would be great to have a new Robocop game. And however, if we don't, at least we have the old games to look back on. Not this one, though. This is... No, don't look back on this. Uh, I'd rather play Robocop 2 on the NES than this, and I hate that game. So, yeah. We'll put this away. And with that, this is the Dolly Popka saying, as always, stay green, my friends. I'll see you next time. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and want more of me and the Big Green, then click that subscribe button and the bell to get notified when new content arrives. I want to say a special thank you to my patrons for helping not just the channel grow, but me as a creator. You have my forever thanks. If you're interested in the channel and would like to help it grow further, consider becoming a patron today. For the cost of a soda or an item on the dollar menu, you can help myself and the channel provide the best source of Big Green programming and more. Once again, all the thanks and love. He's got